objective of this video uh, is to find sides and angles using Soka Toa. So this is a well-known uh, mnemonic. So stands for sine. Sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. C stand, ka stands for cosine of an angle, cosine of x. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOA stands for tan or tangent of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So to use this uh, formula or the mnemonic, the first thing that you need to do is decide the angles and the sides. So let's read the question. Calculate the angle the frame makes with the ground FGH. So put this in simple language. They're asking you find this angle. This angle FGH. What is that angle? That's the question. Okay, so this is the angle, and based on this angle, with respect to this angle, first decide, so you can clearly say this is the hypotenuse. This is your the longest side, the side opposite to the high, uh, right angle is the hypotenuse. So let us name, label that as H, and this, with respect to this angle, is opposite. Or let me write the whole O stands for opposite. Okay, H stands for hypotenuse. Now, students, one other mistake that they do is they label this side. They label all the side. You should not label this side because that will bring in confusion whether you're going to use so, ka, or toa. We are not dealing with this side, so don't label it. So now you look at O and H and decide which trig ratio would you use. So which trig ratio is using O and H? So, well, sine uses O and H, cos uses A and H, and tan uses O and H. So, I think this is smiling at me, okay? So, is saying use me because I think uh, I am the person to be used. So, let us use sine or so. so. We're going to write the formula. Sine of X is opposite over divided by hypotenuse. This line is the division line. You can see this as a, take this as a division line. So this is a division. So I can say sine of x or sine x is opposite, which is 4.4 divided by 6.2. Now to find x, you have to find the sine inverse of this side. So I'll do this step because many teachers or students also don't know why they have to take sine inverse. So I'm taking sine inverse of this side, so as an equation, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So sine inverse of 4.4 divided by 6.2. Now, now this step is, now this and this, sine inverse and sine are opposite of each other. That means, they cancel each other out. Okay, so let me get a calculator. So this calculator, I've set this in degrees. Okay, that's the first thing that you need to do. If it's not in degrees, uh, it probably will not work. So because we are working in degrees here. So you go shift sign bracket sign of 30. Hmm? Will be 30. If you go shift sign of sign of say 65 okay that is 65 again shift sign of sine say 70 would give you 70 so what's happening this sine and sine inverse cancel each other out and you get 30 so that's what i did i want to cancel the sign so if you want to cancel the sign you have to take the sine inverse of sine so if you take sine inverse of this side you take the sine inverse of the other side so the next step would be x is equal to sine inverse of, now you have to use a calculator for this. So you go like this, shift sine of 4.4 divided by 6.2. Close the bracket, equal, that is 45 degree in one decimal point. So I'll say this is 45.2 in one dp. So if you want to write as a whole number, x is 45 x is 45 okay x is 45 degree as a whole number 
rounded this to the whole number. Okay, let me do one more question based on Sokar Tova. Okay, so now this is a question. Uh, the wind is strong and causes the rope TA to make a straight line. So this is the balloon and this is the rope. Okay. The balloon is 40 meters. So this is a balloon. Balloon is 40 meters above the ground. So this is the ground. It's always good to write what the figure tells you. But it's very obvious. So rope TA makes an angle of 26. So this is the 26 with the ground. So this is the ground. Calculate the length of rope TA. So the first thing that you need to do is to label the sides and angles. So this is, I'll call this a X. This is my angle. This is the, this is your opposite. Okay. And what do you want to find? You want to find the length of, so this is what you want to find. You want to find the hypotenuse. This is your question mark. So again, decide which trig ratio will you use. You've got so, ka, and toa. Okay. So here you're dealing with O and H. Okay, you're finding O and H. So again, you're, you're not dealing with your adjacent. With respect to this angle, this is the opposite and this is your hypotenuse. So again, so is smiling very strongly at me. So I'll write the so formula. I'll say sine of x is opposite divided by hypotenuse. Okay. Uh, you can also directly do it. So let me do that in a different way. Hmm. So yeah, by looking at the formula, hypotenuse See, if it is so, you can write in three different ways. The one way is this sine of x is O divided by H, O divided by H. If you want to make O the subject, if O is the subject, O is what you want to find, you do sine of x times H. And if H is the subject, this is O divided by sine. It's very easy to remember. Only if you know the Sokatoa formula, sorry, the Sokatoa, you can make three formulas out of one formula. So this is, this is sine is O divided by H. So here, using this formula, I can say H, let me change color. H is O divided by, let me use the division sign. O, O, sorry, H is O divided by sine of X or sine x. So just substitute the value. O is 40 divided by sine, and what is x? 26. So your h or ta, h is nothing but ta is, again use the calculator, 40 divided by sine 26, which is 91 meters. Okay, so this is a whole number. So this is in one significant figure. So I'm not going to. This is uh, this if it, if you want to write as a ten because this is in in ten. So this is in one significant figure. So I'll write both the answer. If you want to write this as one significant figure, this would be 90 meters. And if you want to write as a whole number, this is 91 meters. So I'll write both the answers. So 90 meters, and that's called one SF or significant figures. Or, if you want to write as a decimal, so TA as one decimal is 90, what was the number? 91.2 is 91.2 meters. They both are same. This is in one decimal point, and this is in one significant figures. Now, how did I decide one significant figures? Because this is in one significant figure. When you say 40 meters, it is not exactly 40, it is near 40. So if you want if you want to make this as a significant figure, one significant figure, the answer is ninety meters. Okay, see you in the next